Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, my name is Jeebs, I'm an old composer, and this is my World Reaction and Reviews channel. And um, I've I'm, I'm been on a slight binge with uh, video game uh, OSTs, original soundtracks and stuff. And one of the reasons is, is I find it uh, such an incredible marriage of such great music and video games. It's, 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 it's movies, it's, it's theater, it's, it's just repetitive. You play, interaction. And what I find that's really unique about this is the opportunity that the composers have to keep pushing the limits, expanding different types of uh, composition styles uh, for games. And I've heard a lot of stuff from, from the old school Mario Brother type stuff all the way to, I believe, what I'm about to listen to. So I had a lot of uh, people suggest uh, from the game uh, Skyrim, and this is uh, the Golden Scroll 5, I believe Roman numeral, Roman numeral V5. And uh, so this is their, um, I think this is the theme. This is the opening theme and stuff. So, <coughs> excuse me. I look forward to this. I want to thank all of you for your support. Uh, any advertisement rolls up on this. None of it monetizes the channel. It goes to the copyright owners, which is the composers, the owners of the games, the publishers. So if you want to support my channel, if you want to buy me a cup of coffee, it also helps what I do with the kids in the hospitals as a ventriloquist and stuff. And um, Or if you want to check out the headsets that I'm wearing or even check out my Patreon. My Patreon is more leaning on the heavy metal stuff So <laughs> from my other channel. The links will all be down below. All right, let's do this. So uh, this is from the game Skyrim. Uh, Dragonborn, and I believe this is the opening title. All right. Okay, obviously we're going to be building up here. I think I'm, yeah, I'm at the halfway mark. Um, you know, I'm looking at the image because it, uh, there's no video on this and stuff. So just e immediately the music evoked some kind of full, uh, courageous, powerful, you know, charge kind of vibe to it and stuff like that. I'm looking at the artwork. So uh, it definitely has that era looking kind of sound to it. The opening with the percussion just to get everything set, just kind of gets you in on the rhythm and stuff. Obviously the vocal or... <coughs> excuse me, the choral part of it is, is the most forward aspect of this in the mix. Very powerful, very, once again, I don't know. I'm learning different things about uh, OST work. Like for instance, uh, when I did one for, uh, I think it was an anime game or a show, something about ca ca chaos vocals or something like that. So I, I can't hear what they're saying. I don't know what they're saying. But I love how the percussion just sets up very lightly and stuff. And then we come in with the vocals. But what's really cool about this and what I love about this kind of orchestrating uh, and arranging are the bouncing little, you know, strings that are going on in the back. That even though this is kind of a gah, you know, the, that kind of uh, 
gonna get it, well, you know, kind of a thing. In the back, you have that, 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 you know, that, and that kind of, even, even when the vocals kind of drops out, that kind of keeps the, the anxiety of the arrangement going. And uh, love the brass arrangement. Really, really love the brass arrangements and the dynamics. Very forte, very, you know, a lot of rips. Um, for those of you who don't know a lot about music and stuff, um, you know, like a brass rip would be like, rot. I mean, it's tonal, but it is, it is, that is actually just called a rip. Rip! You know, and those are usually these, you know, uh, emphasized points uh, going on here. Now, as you got to this little second here, a uh, section where I heard the high end vocals, um, very nice little creepy separation in melody as one started to kind of meander away from the other. I really dug that. But once again, what's happening in the background and stuff like that is such a wonderful support arrangement wise with this. Um, there was also something else that was happening back there when, when the high voices came in that I thought was really great. It was a pseudo syncopated um, vocal, uh, uh, eh, uh, uh, you know, that, that the, the choral section was uh, kind of doing in support of this kind of meandering, kind of ethereal, uh, yet slightly tense um, kind of drift of melodies that were going on there. Huge, huge sound here, but I love it. The, but I will say one more time though, it seems like the emphasis in the mix is more on the vocals, you know, so I'm really having to dig down deep into my, you know, symphonic ear listening to, to get some of those arrangements. But, um, so yeah, let's go. Nice. I think that's the end of it. Am I? Is that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right. Um, so as soon as I get back in, you know, we're resuming that pulse, you know. Um, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot, a lot of continuity in the, in the composition, but at the same token, thematically, you know, obviously I think for a lot of us, it does remind us a lot of things that are very like, uh, very, you know, we're going to get them now kind of style, you know, whether it's a Pirates kind of film or something like that, there is kind of a consistency in a style in which composers may lean into, you know, in order to get the emotions across. Um, but what I loved here, and because I don't know what the video game looks like, so I, I don't have an image in my head and what's happening here, so I'm listening to the music, but the fact that it went from, you know, we got back into that pulse and everything and it started growing. There was a lot of unison work. And for those of you who don't know anything about uh, music, unison is when, let's say, the melody is da, 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 da. And all the instruments, except maybe a couple, will follow that in different ranges to make it huge and symphonic sounding. And then you'll have some other, you know, uh, escorting arrangements around it, be it percussion or other different kinds of arrangements. But a lot of times when you really want to emphasize the melody, You'll take that melody and then you'll assign it all the way through the whole 
um, all, every single section will get assigned to it in a different range, you know, and in different volumes and stuff for different techniques. But I loved when it just went wow, and it got very ethereal with the strings. And it sounds like in the percussion section, they may have used a, a triangle or something to kind of get us into this mood. And then as it started gliding and stuff, I felt a sense of, of, of agitated calm because I'd already been, you know, set up with this pulsing kind of vibe to it. And then at some point you probably saw me react like, oh, it's because everything was kind of heavy, you know, that was being uh, performed and, you know, arranged and everything. And then they hit that one note or they make that, he makes, uh, or the composer makes the change and brings it into this kind of like release and then gliding it, gliding it back down. So I'm sure this probably looks really super badass against whatever it is that it was written for and may, and, and there's probably a relationship being that I don't, I'm not seeing it, to that section, to what might be happening here. But I love it. This is what I love about um, this journey with uh, video game or anime movie or, t or, or, or stuff, OST and stuff like that, is because um, it's, it's new to me, number one. And number two, uh, I get in many different opportunities uh, on this channel to listen to different textures and hybrid uses of all kinds of different, whether you, you know, you're blending a little EDM with orchestral works, whatever the case is. Um, but this is, this is great, great. This is a great Monday morning post. Anyhow, you guys take care. Thank you so much for all of your suggestions. Continue to do so. Um, and also, just in case you do want to support me in what I do, uh, the links are down below. All right, guys, you take care of yourself. Have a killer week. <laughs> Aloha.